You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. At first glance, Girls of Paradise looks like a basic escort service. You can check out profiles and pictures and opt to chat or call the women you're interested in before arranging a date. But the site's goal is to show clients that, by financing the industry, they're accomplices in the violence these women face. That's easy to forget behind a computer screen until you start engaging the girls themselves. To be a prostitute today means to be a victim of extreme violence. By putting money in the system, clients are accomplices of this violence. We wanted them to realize the consequences of their actions. We created Girls of Paradise, the first escort website where all the prostitutes are already dead. But the clients don't know it yet. We presented them as if they were still alive. Clients choose a girl and they start to chat. And suddenly, they discover the real story. actual fuck indeed true to its name if you believe in an afterlife anyway each woman featured on girls of paradise is already dead the reveals made when clients initiate a chat or a phone call they're shown photos of the woman beat up and bloody or simply told she isn't available tonight because she was killed in a grisly manner in that case study video which you can watch And again, everything we say and play included in the show notes. You can see the videos, look at the documents, further the research. You can actually hear the reaction of one potential client who's only able to say no, no, while a voice calmly explains that the girl he wanted was found dead in her apartment with 53 stab wounds. Over 600 calls were taken in the first week, not to mention thousands of chat messages. Le Mouvement du Nid which seeks to help women victimized by the sex trade, believes the campaign woke France's moral indignation. On April 6th, the country made paying for sex illegal. Again, this is coming from Adweek. This isn't the first time we've encountered a surprise reveal that uses online habits as its lever. In 2013, The Walking Dead used Tinder to promote its upcoming season with pretty girls progressively transforming into zombies as men chatted with them. But if movement do needs work as powerful, it's for the opposite reason. The Walking Dead slid fantasy into the everyday. Girls of Paradise breaks the fourth wall brutally of fantasy and drives cold, ugly reality into clients' faces. That job is less simple, but while the net has made many crimes a lot murkier, it's also made it far easier for nonprofit organizations to get their messages out there in ways as impactful as any big-budget brand. As a tribute to its resonance, Girls of Paradise is going to score a gold Clio this Wednesday, Clios being the big advertising awards. So the interesting part here on sites like Adweek, then now below it, you actually get the full credits of those ads. The company, McCann Paris. Agency, McCann World Group. Production company, creative, art director, copywriter, art buyer, producer, sound producer, front end of it, all the credits are all right there. Now you can look at this video and obviously see that's all makeup and this is a staged actor thing. Again, media literacy would tell you a lot if you actually navigated to this site. I imagine we could look at it and go, oh, well, that's fake. Those are your consensus makers. 
Those are your consent manufacturers giving America their hopes and dreams. Yeah, there weren't ads in the middle of the baiting last night, but it wraps around everything else. So there you have McCann Paris, just the just the France arm of an international advertising firm that again gets referenced explicitly on shows like Mad Men. That's why we call it Media Monarchy. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.